guys, what's up? It's Remy. Welcome back to my channel. So, this is gonna be kind of random. I just, I'm not even sure if this is gonna help anybody out, but basically, I found out some pretty crazy news yesterday, and I wanted to just like sit down, talk about it, because I hope that A, it'll help somebody, and maybe help them stay out of the same situation that I accidentally got into. B, I just think it's really interesting, and yeah, there's, I don't know, I just wanna talk about it. All right, let me just preface this by saying I am not a doctor. I did not go to medical school. I am not a gynecologist. I am not a professional in any way, shape, or form. And what I am discussing with you today, I'm just sharing the news that I got yesterday and what I've experienced over the past decade of my life. So please take it with a grain of salt, but hopefully if anybody's dealing with the same symptoms then maybe you will learn from my mistakes and go see a doctor. So today we're gonna talk about birth control. If you are not interested in hearing about this, please feel free to exit. But let me walk you guys through. It's actually kind of crazy. So in my last video, I talked to you guys about how I gained some weight over the holiday season and how I was feeling a little discouraged, but also excited to get back into living a healthy lifestyle, getting back to my workout regimen and everything like that. And then I also discussed how I got my period for the first time in a couple years. And I thought that, well, there's a helicopter flag. It's a big helicopter. I thought that maybe it was because I had gained a little weight, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. In case you missed it, check it out. So after I posted that video, a lot of people were commenting that I need to go to the doctor and that it wasn't normal and X, Y, Z. So while past doctors have told me that I was okay, honestly, reading all those comments made me think like, Am I okay? Maybe I need to go to the doctor. And then one night, my friend Gabby, or Gabby Martino, I'm sure a lot of you guys know her, messaged me on Instagram and basically explained this like long paragraph. It was so sweet of her to take the time to like write so much for me. And she basically told me that my symptoms sounded like I had PCOS. And I don't wanna get this wrong, so I'm going to read you the definition that Google brings up. And Google states that PCOS, or polycystic ovary syndrome, is a set of symptoms due to elevated androgens in females. And androgens are male hormones. So things like testosterone, things like that. Symptoms and signs of PCOS include irregular or no menstrual periods, heavy periods, excess body and facial hair, acne, pelvic pain, difficulty getting pregnant, and patches of thick, darker, velvety skin. I personally have never experienced any excess body or facial hair, but I definitely had the whole period problem. And then also a symptom of PCOS is excessive weight gain. So as you all know, I've dealt with my fair share of weight problems throughout the years, and obviously talking about the weight gain in the video, I see where all the dots were lining up. So basically, my past with my period is that ever since I started, when I, I got my period first when I was in fifth, no, no, sixth grade. Right before sixth grade was over, I got my first period ever. And then ever since getting my period in sixth grade, it was always incredibly irregular for me. I think the irregularity came from a lot of different factors, like A, just my hormones in general and me just, you know, not flowing correctly all the time. Mixed with being a competitive dancer and dancing like constantly as a child, I was always in dance like 15 hours a week. And I know dancers and gymnasts suffer from a lot of irregular periods because of that. Also mixed with the fact that my weight really, it fluctuated, but it really was just like on a very steady incline since I was really young, I always, was overweight and dealt with a lot of problems with that. So yeah, it was really common for me and has always been really common for me to only get my period once every nine to 12 months or so. So when I was 16, and again, I was only getting my period like once a year maybe, my mom took me to the gynecologist to just get checked up, make sure everything was good. They ran tests and they told me that I was irregular, but also it's common to be irregular and that I could go on birth control if I wanted to, but it wasn't completely necessary. They didn't completely recommend it because I didn't necessarily need it at the time. So they basically gave my mom and myself the option, like she can go on birth control if she wants to regulate it, but it's not necessary. And my mom and I came to the agreement and I guess decision that I wasn't going to go on it just because I didn't really want to pump my body full of all the hormones and things yet. If the doctor wasn't like absolutely necessarily telling me like, you need to do this. So I didn't go on it and I just continued on with my very irregular period and from 16, age 16 to about age 22 is when I really gained the most amount of weight. I'd say during that time, 
I probably gained about 40 or 50 pounds in that timeline. So I don't know, I always just like chucked it up to the idea that there were all these different factors that were causing it. So, and the doctor said I was fine, so I thought I was fine. Then when I was 21, it was time for me to get my first pap smear. So I went into the gynecologist and the gynecologist I actually saw is the same person who birthed me, was like the same one when my mom gave birth, she was there, so it was cool. So that went super well, clean as a whistle, it was all good. Make sure you get tested, people. And then a few weeks later after that, I decided that I think I was finally ready to start birth control. Just wanted to be safe and I felt like I was the proper age. Of course, age doesn't really matter, but just for me personally, I decided it was time. I could have started when I was 16, just decided to start when I was almost 22. So at the time, I had a few friends that were on birth control and one was on the pill and then the majority of the rest were on Nexplanon, which is the implant that goes in your arm. It's a a little like rod thing and they shoot it in there and it just sticks in there and it releases hormones and that is the form of contraception. So this is where I went very wrong and this is where I'm hoping that people will listen and <laughs> do better than I did. And the thing is I know the different types of birth control, it's all very like word of mouth. I've talked to so many people, I have friends that do the shot, I have friends that do the patch, I have friends that do the IUD, the NuvaRing, the pills, like there are so many different kinds and that's where it kind of gets a little overwhelming. If I can give any advice that I've learned thus far do your research and don't just go off of what your friends get. That is what I did wrong. <laughs> so I talked to my friends and pretty much only one of them had been on Nexplodon for a long period of time. Basically it goes in your arm and it can stay in for I believe three years and then you get it taken out, you can put, get it back in again, run a new one. I had one friend at the time who had done it for like over a couple years, she loved it. She got it in, she never got periods anymore, she didn't gain any weight, didn't get any acne, blah, 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 it was great for her. So all my friends and I were like, oh my God, this sounds great, let's get it. So two of my other friends got it, one still has it in, one hated it so much and got it out. So I got it in, thought I was fine, and I don't know if you guys remember, but right around the time that I dropped Honey Pop, which was a skincare brand that I did, I'd been working on it for a year, I was so excited, I really like, I love the product so much, and then right, the drop was coming, Again, it took like a full year to come into fruition. Right as the drop was approaching, my skin started to get so, so bad. I've definitely dealt with acne in my life before, and I have like acne scarring on my cheeks still from previous acne like as a teenager. My dad had awful skin, so of course I got that. But it was always smaller, it was nothing too crazy. And then all of a sudden, I remember my skin was just getting these bumps that I've never seen before, like deep-rooted bumps, and I would pick at them because I didn't understand that they were like true cystic acne. It was so rough. I remember my best friend came over and was visiting and we were about to go out, and I was just like picking and picking at, it was right around here. These deep rooted like cystic acne and I remember just asking her like I was at it with tweezers I was like I don't know what this is I've never seen it so I went through that for a really long time eventually it did clear up I went on some medication for a bit I didn't ever do what's that one that everyone does it's really really hard Accutane I went into the dermatologist one day and I was like give me it I want it get rid of this she was like no it's not bad enough for Accutane. I ended up taking like a really light dosage of, I think it was clindamycin or something like that that just helped me clear up the cystic acne. And let me tell you, this acne was not like from eating junk food. It wasn't from like, you know, people are like, just drink water. Like I will admit drinking water has helped my skin a lot, but like this was not curable with anything other than antibiotics. So after a while, got that cleared up, felt much better about that. But one thing that always stuck with me and that I didn't understand is that I've been on this health journey for, I don't know, two and a half, half years now and pretty much over the past two and a half years I have rarely slipped up the longest time I've ever slipped up was just recently when I went away for the holidays and wasn't home to work out and cook my own food and things like that other than that I had the occasional vacation and things where I'd like have fun or like a night out but like five or six days out of the week I am working out every single day I was at one point I was working out like two to three times a day I was barely eating I still wasn't losing weight I saw the nutritionist and I got on the right meal plan and I did lose weight through that but still it was just so gradual. I didn't understand why when I was so devoted to it. Let me tell you, I have now since figured out why and hopefully I will be getting the correct thing soon. Basically after Gabby messaged me, I was a little freaked out and then randomly enough, my aunt, who's pretty much like the same person as me, called me like three days after Gabby messaged me and was like, Remy, I just saw the doctor and I think you have something called PCOS. And I was like, oh my God, I, I, I just heard this from Gabby and I've been thinking about it like, crazy this has to be like a sign from God or the universe and my aunt basically has gone through the exact same thing as me she went through like a crazy weight loss when she was my age she's always had trouble with her periods and blah 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 and she said the doctor called her and said she has 
four symptoms, which are the exact same four symptoms that I have. And she was like, you need to go to the doctor. So went to the doctor yesterday, saw this wonderful, wonderful man. He was so sweet, great gynecologist. Was a little freaked out that it was a dude. Ended up being great. I want him to birth my children now. I went in and I was like, here's the thing. First of all, I just need to get checked up in general. Second of all, I think I have PCOS or I think there's like a thyroid issue or just like something is going on because something is not right. Pulls up all of my past info and everything like that and he looks at everything and basically was like, yeah, you have PCOS. I was like, wait, what? What are you talking about? Turns out there was like some sort of mix up or just something wasn't relayed correctly and literally in those reports from 2011, the numbers were right there. It's just like a simple fraction essentially, he said, of two different numbers that should be a certain fraction and if they're flipped then you have PCOS and mine was like flipped and it was like really high numbers something like that I'm sorry again I'm not a doctor but I was trying to just <laughs> absorb everything he was saying basically I have PCOS and to anybody who commented on my last video and said it congrats you should go to med school <laughs> I'm just kidding so yes I've dealt with it for a very long time that's what causes the irregular periods he did say though me not having a period for two years is normal when you have the arm implant that was totally fine he said that the fact that I got it now makes total sense that is all good, but the fact that I didn't have period ever before is what we need to focus on. <laughs> okay, sorry, my camera ran out of storage. Hopefully that's good. It's just crazy to me because the doctors before, everyone that I've seen was like, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. And then now I'm 24, almost 25, and it's like, there's something wrong with you. So yes, he told me that I do have it. He said it's totally fine. It's super normal. I'm gonna be fine. Got checked again, super clean. But he did tell me that getting the arm implant was quite possibly the worst birth control that I could have gotten for myself as someone who has PCOS. Now, if you're watching this and you have it or you think you might have it, again, I am, it's just me. So you should definitely talk to your own doctor about it and get tested for everything that you think might be good for you, etc. But this is just for me. He said that this was personally the worst thing I could have done because of the hormones that this does release and the excess of hormones that I do have by having PCOS. Essentially, it made it really hard for me to lose weight. And that's why my weight loss has been so gradual, even though I've been eating super clean and working out super hard. And I like, I try so so, so hard and I honestly there are times where I just felt so defeated and like I was never going to make any more progress no matter how hard I tried and I couldn't understand why but hormones are no joke that's what I'm learning so yes for someone who might not have PCOS this is great let me tell you it is convenient you don't have to worry about taking a pill I've seen so many so many youtubers do videos on their next on experience and honestly this is not a jab at next on trust me like this very great for people that it works for but more often than not I've seen people really not enjoy their experience but then again I have friends like my one friend who loves it and swears by it and will probably use it until she doesn't need it anymore but all in all I've learned that I've pretty much been working like twice as hard <laughs> to lose the weight that I've been losing because of this little thing which is so crazy to me but I made an appointment and I am going to get this thing taken out I would have had to get it taken out in a year anyway so I'm getting it out a little early and I'm switching to a new form of birth control that will hopefully work better with my PCOS and just everything in in general and hopefully I will find the one that is right for me but I don't know, the story doesn't have an ending, and I, this is just information that I learned yesterday, but I just thought it was really interesting, and I was hoping that maybe by me talking about this, anybody who is looking into birth control, or anybody who, you know, just deals with, like, period issues like I do, will do a little research, go to the doctor, get checked up, because I really wish I had gone in before yesterday, honestly. I really neglected that, and I really regret it. But yes, I will be sure to keep you guys updated with everything that goes on with that whole thing, and I'm excited to see what happens next. And I'm proud of myself, because because I said in 2020, I wanna take care of myself from the inside out, and I feel like this is literally from the inside out. And we're gonna see how this goes. But, hope you guys enjoyed this random little sit down big sister video. Hopefully it helped one person out there. I love you. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.